So, um, this is my hair, we're in my bathroom, and I wanted to show you guys how to do a uh, cap highlight. Today it'll kind of be like a low light because usually with henna I add little tones of red in my hair and henna after about two or three months um, the color usually goes away because it is very temporary. It is more of a demi-permanent color but as you can see my hair is kind of naturally kind of red but the ends are a little more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use henna and color it red again and because with henna you can't use metal um, it's like a rule you can't use a metal spoon uh, when you're heating up the water for henna they don't even want you to use a metal kettle they want you to use a glass one and um, so I'll be using a plastic little cap and because I didn't have anybody around who wanted to get their hair highlighted with this <laughs> um, I'm going to do it to myself now the only reason I would ever use this is with henna because you can't either with henna you do the whole thing or you can use uh, plastic I've seen people use um, rolls of plastic and they cut it like foils and then they put it on I haven't seen that work very well it tends to have bleeding it doesn't do the same thing as um, a normal foil would but these are very unpredictable because um, they're just random you don't know where the hair is coming from which is why I wouldn't usually use this with bleach I have only used it once and that was on a mannequin head um, with bleach and then you just use a crochet hook I know it's metal <laughs> um, metal crochet hook is fine it won't affect the henna henna is very you don't know what color you're really gonna get if henna says red um, you don't know what red you're gonna get like for my hair I usually get a kind of auburn red I never really get a hot red but I know my friend when she colors her hair with the exact same henna she gets hot red crazy um, like a beautiful hot red and then um, when my other friend colors her hair with the same it turns into burgundy it doesn't it doesn't really matter so we're gonna put it on their head so first I'm going to take a brush comb my hair back this is how I was taught in my cosmetology school how to do it I know some videos online they part the head they part the head down the middle um I tried that on a wig and it didn't turn out the same way so then you want to make sure the hair is back I'm gonna put the cap on and you can just buy these online they're not expensive I bought this one online uh, it came in a pack of seven and then you want to make sure your hair is behind your ear if you're you if you have bangs um, then make sure they're combed back don't try to comb them front because um, you want a lot of nice randomness and then tie it if you're doing this on a client or a person though um, I usually let them tie it oops apparently I can't tie a bow I look crazy <laughs> Boop. okay now if you can see these little circles I'm just going to do the blue circles and I'm going to start from the front go all the way back um, and then I'm going to do the sides so bring a hair up um, I've no I know what the cat method that you want to take smaller sections just so it looks like it's flowing all together but if you want to take bigger sections just go ahead and take bigger sections make sure to start from the front because um, if you go from the back because I've done this like seven times if I go from the back I accidentally rip out hairs from the front so it's just easier to go all the way back
first did this myself at home, it took about four hours. Um, you don't really need a friend to do it with you, because I can basically get all these pieces. When you get to the back and you don't see the holes anymore, just start pulling out pieces. Um, it works for me. When I take pictures, I can always, you know, just make sure it's far back and still. So it does hurt just a little. Um, <laughs> I um, I usually do a cap highlight on my boyfriend because he has short hair. Um, just so I don't have to put each individual piece into foils because he has hair that's like three inches. And it wouldn't really work very well if I did um, foils because his hair is also really thick and it'd be... It's just much easier to do his hair like this because it turns out the way I wanted it to. Like scattered lowlights, because he's blonde, so he has scattered lowlights that I usually do. Um. For just my hair, I would rather use henna because um, I have really curly hair and I don't really like all the damage that hair color does because when I hair color my hair red, it would just, it, my curly hair wouldn't curl correctly. Um, so the henna just works for me, but you can always use just a color from the store.
I just went downstairs. I put my hair up uh, in a little cut thing. I just made my henna. And even though it's red, all henna starts out green. And then on the hair, it will turn red. So I put behind my head a little tissue. So when you lay on the color, make sure you just lay it on. Don't rub it into the cap because it'll go through the holes and you will get spotting, like cheetah print spotting. It will happen. So with henna, it usually stays on for four hours or as long as your particular box says. So uh, if you're not using henna, then you can just use whatever you like. Make sure with henna that you don't put it on uh, too thick or with any color. Uh, don't put it on too thick, but make sure that you get every single piece. Okay, now it's been an hour, so my hair, just gonna undo it, and then I'm going to first wash it with the cap on, then I will, after that, take off the cap, and then completely scrub my hair, and then you'll see the final result. Okay, it's all done. So obviously my hair wasn't uh, straight, like in the video. <laughs> Um, but you can definitely see the red highlights. Um, I'll put in some pictures, but, um, of it straight or curly, obviously I have naturally giant poofy curly hair and I just took a shower and then two seconds later, um, half of it poof poofed. So let me try to break it into certain areas so you can see. Um, now with henna, in about four days, um, it'll be the brightest it can be. So 